So the data required for the finding the voltage regulation of, of uh, the synchronous machine uh, in synchronous impedance method is first of all the open circuit characteristics first of all. <coughs> Second would be your short circuit characteristics in case of synchronous impedance method. For amplitude method, we will be requiring effective resistance per phase of three phase binding. First thing, Second thing would be the open circuit characteristics and the short circuit characteristics. At weighted values. So, this is also important uh, from uh, the objective point of view that of data required for Amperton methods are uh, these two methods, these three uh, things which are required effective resistance for phase, open circuit, and the short circuit characteristics. Whereas in EMF method, we require these two data that is open circuit characteristics and the short circuit characteristics. Please remember this thing. Now coming to the open circuit characteristics, how the open circuit characteristics looks like. <clears throat> what of this? Open circuit characteristics would be between VT and I. So, if I am supposed to draw the open circuit character 6, it would be looking like somewhat, it will be tracing this line to some extent and then it will be deviating from it. And this is between VT and IF, and this line which is actually going over here, the straight line is actually called the air gap line. This is called the open circuit characteristics of the generator. So, Vt and IF and this is actually the circuit, uh, this is actually the graph which we will be getting in the uh, case of generator. This graph we are getting here and this is getting from this line because this is called the air gap line and this air gap line actually what happens that after passing uh, the air gap, the flux saturated and after the saturation this the curve takes a deviation from the straight line. So this is the open circuit characteristics of a generator and in the short circuit characteristics <coughs> in the short circuit characteristics we get a uh, the short circuit characteristics is always between IA and IF, the current, IH current, IA and IF and the short circuit characteristics will be getting like a straight line this is called a short circuit characteristics please remember this uh, graph also that it's between IA and IF and it is a straight line uh, actually there are three different uh, type of relationship which are uh, need to be found uh, for the synchronous generator and uh, they are first of all the field current and the flux relationship <coughs> and second is called the, the synchronous reactance and third is called the albature resistance. So we can find all these things by different uh, uh, tests. So uh, as we have seen in the EMF method, uh, EMF method and the uh, MMR method that we require the open circuit characteristics and the short circuit characteristics as well. So the first thing which uh, will be required for finding the voltage regulation also will be the open circuit characteristics so or the open circuit test. <coughs> Since the name suggests 
that it's open circuit test so, so the generator is rated, uh, rotated at the rated speed and its uh, field current is increased from zero to the rated value and after that uh, the values of the terminal voltage and the field current are found from the open circuit test and since uh, open circuit uh, itself means that there is no load connected to the uh, generator so it's a no load test. <coughs> So, we will get exactly what we have discussed just before that the open circuit characteristics that would be like the same Vt and IR, these will be on the rated values and we will be getting a graph somewhat like this in the open circuit characteristics and this graph uh, is very much important as we have discussed in the voltage regulation also this graph is very important in finding the <coughs> generated uh, terminal voltage on any field current. So, what is whatever be the generated, uh, what, are, what is the generated voltage at what field current will be given by this open circuit characteristics. As we have seen the open circuit test, you know, in this open circuit test, uh, VT and IF uh, are found and we get the graph like this. In the short circuit test, we are actually uh, doing a short uh, at the terminals and we are conducting the short circuit test also. We can see, we, can, we had a look on the short circuit test characteristics. The short circuit test is now the test which we have already discussed in uh, many different uh, topics also in the tra transformer also and the machine also so it's the same way we will be conducting this test and the generator will be uh, actually on the rated speed and uh, at, from that point of view field current is adjusted and the uh, but of the uh, rotor uh, sorry but, but of the other circuit will be uh, uh, short circuited and the base we have to measure the current IA and IF and uh, this test which we have seen which we have seen the graph of it that IA and IF is a straight line it is not deviating from uh, the, uh, as we have seen in the open circuit characteristics because of the reason that the flux requirement for short circuit test is very much small so the uh, phi uh, which is not getting saturated so it is uh, almost a straight line so discussing about the straight line is once again uh, this is very important regarding the objective point of view that uh, uh, during the short circuit analysis the net magnetic field is very small and in the core which is unsaturated right now which is which never gets saturated in the case of short circuit test so the graph relationship is always a linear relationship 